This is Robert Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're here at the Healthcare Week 2016 in San Francisco, California. With me right now is Dr. Michael Mullen from Rock Creek Pharmaceuticals, Inc. The symbol is RCPI. Dr. Mullen, welcome to SNN Live. Yeah, thanks, Robert. Nice to be here. Thank you so much for coming on to our program. Yep. So, for our audience, Let's start with an overview sure. of Rock Creek Pharmaceuticals. Sure. So um, Rock Creek is about developing a new way to treat uh, inflammatory disorders. So our lead compound is an anti-inflammatory molecule that works in a way that's completely distinct from non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, from steroids, and from biologics. And as such, the mechanism of action has potential widespread um, applicability for um, chronic and acute inflammatory diseases. Okay, so I want to start with a, a background on the company. How did you get into this, and where, how did the company get to where it's at today? Sure, so my original background was in the uh, biology of Alzheimer's. I was one of the original co-discoverers of the genetic causes of Alzheimer's. And from studying uh, that disease, we learned that one of the big drivers is inflammation. So I have a long-standing interest in inflammation. And when I saw this compound and realized it had a novel anti-inflammatory mechanism of action, got very interested, not just its, in its potential for application to central nervous system disorders, but also to other chronic inflammatory diseases. So let's talk about the science a little bit. One, where does it come from? Where was it developed? And then how is it different than what's currently out there? Sure. So the drug works by um, contacting a particular uh, receptor called the nicotinic alpha-7 receptor. And in so doing, it suppresses the drivers of inflammation. It suppresses the so-called transcription factors that give rise to a lot of the inflammatory proteins. So what we see in preclinical models over and over again is this widespread suppression of uh, transcription and therefore suppression of inflammation and all the downstream destruction that that causes. And again, where was it developed? So it was the, the, the drug was originally developed by, by Rock Creek. Um, it was originally um, found as a naturally occurring compound, but, but the subsequent uh, molecules have been developed just by our company. And uh, what are some of the target indications from the outset for the compound? So potentially, any time you see chronic inflammation and upregulation of these transcription factors, this drug um, and the mechanism of action is, has some applicability. But we are going after psoriasis as the initial indication, and we're doing that because we can dose high, to high levels in the, in the skin, and we can look at our biomarkers directly in the skin um, from biopsies. And what's the size of the patient population for psoriasis? So we're going after mild to moderate psoriasis, um, and there may be as many as, as 1% to 2% of um, you know, modern uh, Western civilization suffering from that condition. The biggest part of, of that population have mild to moderate disease, perhaps 80%. And what we find is that the current treatments are unsatisfactory for as many as 50% of those patients at any one time. So, okay. So... Where, where is the company at currently in its clinical development? We've just finished an oral study, a phase one oral study or series of studies in the United Kingdom. That went very well. The drug um, didn't show any safety concerns and was well tolerated. And we are now formulating topical formulations, which uh, we're taking forward into our efficacy study in psoriasis later this year. All right, so we're in 2016. What are some of your goals and milestones for this year that you can tell me? So absolutely the biggest milestone is delivering proof of concept data from this psoriasis study. That's critical for us because that will be the demonstration for the first time that this drug formulation um, can impact diseased human tissue and correct it. That's a big milestone for us. Subsequent to that, we, we are looking towards partnering with a Derma company, dermatologically uh, uh, specialized company primarily, those are our targets, to, to move forward with the phase two study. In the phase two study, we'd be focusing in on the formulation and the dose and, uh, and really honing that in to, um, to start towards to move a final product. And where can our audience go and find more information about Rock Creek Pharmaceuticals? So at rockcreekpharmaceuticals.com, they'll find that information and, um, and, and associated websites. 
My name is Robert Kraft and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live and we're here at the Healthcare Week 2016 in San Francisco, California. With me again is Dr. Michael Mullen from Rock Creek Pharmaceuticals, Inc. The symbol is R-C-P-I. Dr. Mullen, thank you so much for coming Thanks on. so much, Robert. Thank you.